you know, I think the power of community, especially within the community that you serve, is where it's at. You know, at the end of the day, you are the face of your community. You're not just someone that is connecting buyers and sellers and investors with properties. But my experience actually comes from the corporate world. For those of you that are from this market and are familiar with Winn-Dixie, the supermarket chain, I started social media for Winn-Dixie back in 2012. And in our command center, our focus was listening to who was talking about the brand. Real estate transactions work in a very similar fashion. The greatest benefit, competitively speaking, that social media offers every single person in this room is not content. It's not personal branding. It's the ability to listen. You can go on Twitter right now and you can run a search for moving to Miami, moving to Los Angeles. You can go on Instagram and you can search hashtags that people are using indicating that they're looking to move. So like what Jeff was saying, if you're looking within your community or if you're going to the extent of, of Facebook searches and Twitter searches and you're running these searches, now you have the opportunity to go one step further. If someone goes on Twitter and they're tweeting, and I'll give you guys an example. Many years ago when I went to go work at LinkedIn, I went ahead and tweeted out, I'm moving to San Francisco. I'm looking to know where, where's the trendy places to eat. Where should I be putting my kids in school? What are the neighborhoods? It's someone that had never even been to San Francisco before. And immediately the agent that I ended up renting my home through reached out to me with the recommendations on all of the above. So listening is such a powerful resource and asset that oftentimes gets overlooked. So I'd say start there before you go too far down this rabbit hole of creating content and a brand and ads.